Um, the Georgia Board of Elections comment is crazy because I was an organizer for the Georgia runoffs, but that's not what. <laughs> that's not, we flipped it. We did flip it, if you guys remember that happening. Um, that's not what the story is about. Okay, I'm just gonna start because I'm scared. Um, and this is just like a story about haunted stuff and it's not about anything heavy, but the backdrop is kind of heavy, just so just a content warning for um, involuntary hospitalization. Okay, so you can feel free to leave the room at any time if that's something that doesn't sit well with you. Um, so like many people, I was once in college um, and that's like something that you can do. And when you are there, you like care about weird things. Like you like care about getting cast in the Shakespeare play and then you like care about if they play No Hands by Walk a Flock of Flame like at the house party and they don't and you're like upset and like you get mad when they play Take On Me another time and stuff. So I was in college and like those were the things that I cared about but um, then I got involuntarily hospitalized for suicidal ideation, right? And when you get involuntarily like admitted to a psych ward, this was like in Rhode Island, um, Doctors are there on weekdays, but they're not there on weekends. So if you get admitted on a Friday like I was, you are there until the doctors come on Monday to see whether or not they feel like letting you out. So I was pissed. It was like October. This was several years ago at this point. Um, I was like pissed off that I was gonna miss my friend's improv show. They were like, you're dying. Like you, you are not in a good place. I like wanted to be at um, the like 24 hour plays or whatever. Um, and so I am there and they like take your clothes and stuff. They give you different socks that people refer to now as grippy socks. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. Um, and they give you breakfast and they're just like these from frozen omelets that they wrap in foil and they don't give you a fork because they don't want you to try anything. So I'm like, that's like a real thing that happens. They like cut all of the um, ribbon bookmarks out of my books when I had them because they were like, oh, you can't try anything. Um, and I'm like eating my omelet and I'm like so sad. And then one of the other people in the psych ward like sits across from me and I'm like eating the omelet and I'm like, hello. And they don't say anything. It's this woman and she stares at me and then she takes the foil that my omelet was in and she walks away. And I was like, oh great, this is going to be such a normal experience. Um, and so a couple days, like it continues, they're like, they have all kinds of group therapy in there. There's like, they paint and they're like, wow, you're like good at painting. You're so good at painting. And I was like, I am, I am a visual arts major. Yeah, like whatever. Um, uh, it's not important. I'm not trying to shine in here except. <laughs> in the way where you like shine by being so healthy that you can leave. Um, and uh, eventually they let me have visitors, they let me have books, they let you wear your own clothes and that was really nice and humanizing. These things are like not amazing in terms of giving you humanizing things and constitutional rights. So it was really big to have those things. Um, and like my friends got to visit me sometimes. There's like music therapy, you just have to make sure you're doing well and at night, um, they leave all of the doors open because they don't want you like behind a closed door. They like don't know. Um, and you like your bed is bolted down, your toilet's bolted down, there are no mirrors. And the nurses are just doing rounds every night. Um, and you're all supposed to be asleep after like they give you your meds and stuff. Um, so I'm like having a nice time. I like painted some things. We like sang. Um, there's like group therapy. Everyone is nice enough and you're hearing people's stories and they're all from very different walks of life and like there are things other than like picking your outfit to like run into people on the campus lawn, um, which is cool. And then the woman, I like ask, um, sorry, this is not during the nighttime that I just set up. Um, I like asked like the music therapist guy, I was like, so at the first breakfast, this woman like took the foil that my breakfast was in. What was that about? And he was like, Patricia's really nice. Like, you don't have to worry about her. I know that it's like scary coming in here. And she like was nice. She was very normal the whole time. Everyone was like very normal. This isn't about like, you know, being, you know, spe making a spectacle of anyone's mental state. Um, last night that I'm there, I think, it was a couple years ago at this point, the nurses are doing rounds. It's dark, we're all supposed to be asleep. I'm having a hard time sleeping. Um, everyone's doors are open and I can see into Patricia's room and the nurses are whispering to each other. And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm trying to sleep. You guys want me to sleep. Like this, is, like this is part of the thing. A priest comes in. This is a 100% true story. 
um, a priest comes into Patricia's room, and I can see through the hallway across, and I'm like, what's going on? Patricia's like a very nice person that I've only spoken to a few times, and they're like whispering about her, and they're like, get back. And I'm like, what's happening? And Patricia is speaking in a lower voice than I have ever heard her speak in, and the priest is chanting at her, and um, the priest is like, by the power of God, release her. And Patricia is like this in, in the room, and I don't, I wish I had more details for you. She like crosses the room and then like stands on the other side and is staring at the priest. The priest is chanting more things, probably in Latin. And I'm like not supposed to be awake and all the nurses are watching. So this isn't a normal night for them either. All the nurses are watching. And I'm like, I am, what, what is happening? What, like, what's going on? And she like, Patricia's like speaking in this low voice. I don't know if she's speaking in Latin. I don't know like what is going on, and then like a nurse does another round and I like turn over and like pretend to go back to bed. And then a doctor comes on Monday and I am released and I go back and I go to Starbucks to get a latte because they don't have any in there. And I run into a girl that I hooked up with and I'm like, we're back in college. I guess I'm never gonna get closure on that story. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. And um, I, I don't, I was really scared, so thank you. Have a good night. <laughs>